Hello Disney Infinity Trainers, welcome back to another episode of my Let's Build a Toy Box series here on iStarly TV. It's been a little bit of a while, maybe a week or two, since I've done a single individual episode of Let's Build a Toy Box. The last episode was me and Dieter building our toy box for the Round 4 Arena of the Infinity Game. So if you want to check that out, I'll post a link right here in the description. And if you want to see the previous episode of this single player series i'll go ahead and post a link to that as well that one had me building pretty much building the lobby here to my rising starly hotel we've got maddie over here jumping for joy and mr mosby once again so let's go ahead and run right by him no running in my lobby <laughs> all right so i haven't added anything just yet we're gonna go ahead and start working on the next level right now just so that we can continue to develop the Rising Starly Hotel and make it spookier. It's currently not very spooky, so uh, this is just going to be a hallway. This is actually going to have some rooms, though, so we're going to keep that in mind, of course. Uh, I'm going to fix the light fixture here and, and do it something, or change it to something that's more fitting, I suppose. I like that one. Let's see. That one is is fitting of a spooky place. Um, for right now, though, I think it's okay for us to go with... That kind of looks cool. I'll go ahead and keep it like that for right now. Yes, I like that. I like that. Okay, cool. So now we're going to add a couple rooms to this floor. So we're going to go to our nifty little room category. And here, these these sidekick rooms, I'd like to try them out, but currently I think I'm just going to go ahead and decorate my own rooms. So we'll do something simple, I guess. We'll do just, I think this one is fitting. We'll go ahead and just do this simple one. So this will be the first room. When you come up to the second floor, so the lobby's down there. This is actually the first room that you'll encounter with where where guests can stay i suppose let's go ahead and, and theme it then this one will be kind of innocent well let's try building an andy's room i think that's something that you know is pretty neat <laughs> is this supposed to be andy's room i guess so yeah yeah so we'll build this like andy's room and then maybe I'll make it locked and then you have to kind of do something, some kind of quest or some kind of mission in order to unlock it um, to gain access to the room, I guess. So let's see what kind of Toy Story toys we have. This can be a lot of fun too because we can use a lot of the cast members as actual toys here. So I think that'll be a, a pretty neat little addition. Uh, we're looking for beds first at least. I do believe that there is an Andy's bed. There should be. There's a lot of different ways we can go here, though. Grunkle Stan. <laughs> comfy chair. This one looks fitting. I mean, it, it blends really well. The color co color combination looks really nice. Um, but we'll go ahead and hold off on that one for right now. Long white curve, no. I like that one as well. Oh, I, I really like this couch. That little short for the birds that appears before Monsters, Inc. I could be wrong, but that one's really cute. Where is Andy's bed, though? Come on, we need Andy's bed. He's got to have his own bed here. Oh, this one's just bed. No, here is Andy's bed. Perfect. All right, well, I don't think we're going to be able to perfectly get the layout of his room. <laughs> um, but we can do the bed in the corner. So anyone who stays in the hotel, they get to sleep in Andy's bed. That's a little bit creepy. And it is also kind of creepy because you're sleeping right here and the wall is right in front of you. <laughs> and then, I don't know, I guess it's a good place to hide, right? Maybe the bed should be in a, in a more open setting, perhaps. Let's go ahead and try that. Maybe put it like right here. I mean, in the movie, his bed is kind of off in the corner anyway. So I guess I guess it could work there. You know, we can make the argument that it works there. 
No big deal, I suppose. Oh, this is a good bet as well. This actually fits the theme, so I'm going to go ahead and put this here too. I do also like this one though. And see, it might seem weird that we're putting a lot of beds here, but keep in mind this is a this is a hotel, so you know, they need to allow for multiple guests to stay in a room. This one's kind of cool as well, and this one's also pretty playful too, you know, it gives the impression of a playful area. And not only that, but it has like a little sail, a little makeshift sail. So it's kind of like a sailboat, like a sail bed. And the the wallpaper is a bunch of clouds in the sky. So it's really fitting there as well to use, to look at this as kind of like a, a sky sailing ship or something. I don't know. Let's go ahead and, and take a look at the perspective here and see how it looks. Maybe that's too many beds, is it? <laughs> I guess this is okay. Yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and take take that one out and uh, and and add some more decorations. So of these tables and whatnot, <laughs> that one's kind of cool. I guess I'll come back to the chairs. Let's go ahead and add some some wall hangings. Now I really wish that they had the the Disney Infinity 1.0 character portraits like Buzz Lightyear and Jesse. That would be perfect. Unfortunately, they don't. They only have 2.0 and 3.0 characters because interiors did not exist in 1.0. So that's a little unfortunate. I don't know if Andy would have a picture of Gaston in his room, so and then these are all trippy, so <laughs> um, this is kind of cool, though. I think that could kind of work. You know, Andy's a little kid. He likes playing with his toys, his action figures. I'm sure he'd be, he'd be inspired by Captain America. This one's kind of random, the puppy. I don't, I don't think I would put that. And this also feels out of place. So in the next episode, I might take a break from my haunted hotel and work on something. Well, maybe not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. I feel like I've been doing a lot of interior work lately, though. So <laughs> I, I want to try to change it up a lot. We'll see. We'll see. I definitely have been doing a lot of interior design though which is cool but I want to try some new things here and there as well Mickey Mouse Clubhouse oh this looks good I always thought this little guy looked like one of the aliens, but I guess when you look closely, he's not. <laughs> oh, surfboard, why not? <laughs> Alright, now, let's put a lot of toys in this room. This will be the toy room. This, this room is where a lot of the kids want to stay because there's a lot of toys to play with. So if you're staying in the Rising Starly Hotel, you'll probably want to rent out this room. If you, if you like playing with toys. Okay, that sounds weird. If you like playing games. Oh, here we go. Yes. I know we've used these before, but I like to kind of... We can have it displayed on the action figure section. There we go. I want to put it there, but then it's blocking the decal. Here's some more toys. Put it like that or something. Maybe like that, perhaps. No, let's put, oh, that's a bookshelf. A wardrobe. Doesn't really fit. Nightstand. Sure thing. I mean, and, and you can have it kind of like, I think hotels do that where when you're staying at a hotel, you can actually have them call you at a certain time in the morning to wake you up. So we'll imagine that it's something like that. And we'll put a couple, a couple books here.
any kid in this room is going to be interested in 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 how they look they're just going to be interested in playing so they're not going to need a mirror all right okay the accent and decor should have some useful toys as well for this particular thing oh i really like this one a lot i'm going to i'm probably going to use this in some way just not right now for this particular room is that a hookah <laughs> what is that uh oh a balloon that's definitely great okay yeah yeah now we're finding all the cool toys so um steamboat willie that one's really awesome as well lilo's wagon yeah definitely lilo can hang out here too she's really fun there we go there's all the toys that we've been looking for balloon why not it's floating too that's awesome uh books sure does andy read though i mean he can probably read but well i mean he's a, technically he's a grown-up now so maybe i'm asking all the wrong questions <laughs> the cassette player here we go put that yeah, so this room is not necessarily about being organized. It's really just about having fun. This room will bring out the inner child in all of us. Oh, this is a diorama, but but you can use this to play with as well. It's a pretty good idea. I really love the Emperor's New Groove, and I'd love to see more of it. C Celebration Cake. That's a cake, but we'll we'll imagine that it's it's a play play set or something, something that you can play with. Cool. So this this was an easy room to throw together, but I really like how it turned out. And now I'm actually going to place some villagers. Oh, aquarium exhibit. Sure. <laughs> oh wait. These are these would also be pretty cool. It's a very colorful balloon or colorful room, which is good. All right. I guess we could afford to put some windows. So I know I've been calling this the haunted hotel and you're probably wondering how is this haunted? But what I plan to do is kind of as you go higher up in the hotel, then it starts to become more more spooky and haunted. So it's pretty creepy if you think about it, but, <laughs> but you know, this, this first floor, we can start out being kind of simple and, and colorful and fun and, and thriving as you can see here. And then as we go higher, as we ascend higher, that's why it's called the rising starly hotel, because it's always rising to, to eternity. Yeah. So we'll, we'll put some little, maybe some little mini games if we can fit them where you know you have to kind of try to make it to the top or something like that all right so here's the kids room the playroom looks cool i'd like to play in here let's let's throw some rugs or something in the middle though just to kind of you know clo close in some of that space so that it's not just a bunch of open space there puzzle rug yeah that looks looks pretty good okay why can't you put this rug under under these pieces that's a little strange it's all right though i'll go ahead and put this over here you still can't put it over here that's kind of strange usually you can put rugs under like anything but i guess that's not exactly the case here okay yeah i'll put that one as close as it can get there and i'll put this here sure and do we need a table that's that's my question oh i guess there's oh yeah this is definitely gonna gonna be a cool little addition here even though it's a desk lamp and it's not on a desk <laughs> although the strange thing is i don't think it can fit on any of the desks that are provided in the toy box so it's meant to be gigantic like that tvs i mean what is a hotel room without a tv right but doesn't look like i can find one that that fits here awkwardly By the way, I'm playing as Rey today. I believe this is her debut in the Let's Build a Toy Box series, so I'm excited to to play as her. All right. 
looks good. All right, so we'll work on the next room and the last room for this floor. And then I'll go ahead and end the video there because I don't want these to take too long. And uh, it's kind of cool to just work on one floor at a time and go like that. So where is the room? There's the Andy's room. Okay, so it'll be somewhere over here, right? Oh, this is a little awkward, actually. Can it fit in between there? Might be able to. Can we get it? No, it's not going to fit there. Can it fit here, though? Ooh, it did. Nice. Okay, cool. We'll just do this. It's a little small, but it's okay. This is only the first floor, right? Cool. All right. Let's go ahead and fix that up. I'll try something new here. Oh, this might be kind of fun. Uh, this one will be Kylo Ren's room. <laughs> How about that? Let's go ahead and try Kylo Ren's room. And it's a little ironic that Rey is the one, the one creating it. I can imagine Kylo Ren would be very, very upset if he found out Rey was in his room. <laughs> reading his diary. Painting his walls for him. That, that's a that's a very clashing <laughs> combination right there. I'm, I'm, I don't mean to leave that. I'm just gonna I'm just trying out different things here. That kind of looks cool. Black and red are, are Kylo Ren's colors. <laughs> Death Star floor. Let's see. That looks pretty cool. All right, that that looks pretty Kylo Ren, right? He's got a very dark soul, and no nobody understands him. All right, this will this will be a fun one to build. Oh, I just realized I forgot to throw in the, the townspeople in the other room. So we'll go back and do that after this. That's kind of cool, but... Actually, that's pretty neat. So is that. Okay, we'll go, we'll go with that one for now. Alright, so we're definitely going to go ahead and... Put a bed, because this is the Kylo Ren room. <laughs> And the bed can just be something simple. I don't think Kylo Ren really... He, he doesn't really care about comfort. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Oh, we're definitely putting this. This is where Kylo Ren sits and writes poetry. Here, this 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 could work. We'll, we'll use this one for now. It, it is kind of simple, but... I think Kylo Ren would have something simple. He wouldn't have anything adorned. He wouldn't have a bunk bed because I don't think he wanted to have friends over. I don't think he would really care to have friends over. Uh, maybe General Hux. <laughs> yeah, so he has a throne right here because he fancies himself a Dark Lord of the Sith. And hilariously, he's going to, of course, have a portrait of none other than Darth Vader, his favorite. Oops. There's Darth Vader. <laughs> you are now entering the Darth Vader fan club. <laughs> All right. Oh, he'll have two portraits of Darth Vader. I don't. I don't put it past him to to deck out as much. He he wants to make sure that any way in his room that he's facing that he can see Darth Vader. <laughs> He always needs to remember. He always needs to know. All right, and here we'll just put some of his published poetry. He self-published, self-published, of course. He tried to get it out to submit it to some literary magazines, but it didn't really work out when they demanded a lot of very specific requirements from his work and he accidentally ended up slashing up the office of the editor-in-chief with his lightsaber and so he's never never again welcome back to submit there all right he has a medal here for his proficiency with the force we all know how that turned out though and then he has a medal here for darth vader's number one fan that he himself crafted using the force and we all know what happens when Kylo Ren crafts things himself, right? <laughs> Just like his lightsaber. 
here. He'll we'll have a, a random stop sign here because he wants everyone to stop judging him. And that'll be a way to kind of when you enter the room, he'll be telling you to stop. Don't and don't go any further into my room. Or you'll regret it. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right. And I'll go ahead and put a Darth Darth Vader plush figure next to him, which will be just a Darth Vader townsperson. Let's see. Well, we'll do that after. We'll, we'll add those townspeople afterwards. All right, so here then. We can put a piano. You know, Kylo Ren's a smart kid. He, he knows what he's doing. He's proficient in the arts, but he quit the piano when his parents pushed him a little too hard they really wanted him to focus on something other than worshiping darth vader and he felt like they were being way too pushy so he quit <laughs> okay this will be perfect too what better way for for kylo ren what what better piece of of iconic star wars memorabilia could kylo ren have in his room aside from a darth vader poster than a, an image a replica of his father being frozen in carbonite. <laughs> That's symbolic. It's so symbolic. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right. He 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 needs to remind himself every day of how his father father was almost not part of his life. And had that been the case, you know, Kylo Ren would have had someone to blame. But unfortunately for him, his 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 terrible father is is in his life. Of course, that sarcasm. Han Solo is probably a good dad, right? No, well, I don't know. I mean, he did kind of abandon him. <laughs> All right, here is the stack of history books that document the Galactic War and Anakin's rise and fall. And here are all the other books that Kylo Ren has read regarding Darth Vader's life. He doesn't care to stack them all. He, he's not very organized. He can be, but recently he's been focused on, on tracking down Rey so that Supreme Leader Snoke can, can stop giving him crap about it. Oh, that's a cool trash can. I didn't see that, but it doesn't go here. I'll just put some crates here for storage. <laughs> oh, Andy's toy chest. Oh, we got to totally add that back in Andy's room, but... We have other priorities right now. Here's an art easel in case he wants to paint. See, his art easel is right next to the, the replica of his father being frozen in carbonite for inspiration. Tie-dye tie fighter. That's awesome. We'll put this over here from remnants of a of a happier time in kylo's life when he was a good little boy who was adept in the force all right windows what kind of windows could we have are there death star windows i'm sure there are yes there are why not so he can peer into the empty blackness of space all right wait does that one fit there no it does not unfortunate that's okay though oh palpatine's window that's kind of cool but i don't think that's going to fit anywhere anywhere around here all right so as for these things Kind of platform so he can practice giving speeches although kylo ren is not really the the speech giving type that's more general huff's thing kylo ren knows that darth vader wasn't very big on giving speech speeches either so why should he and of course we're gonna have a death star rug here <laughs> all right pretty awesome now there was another thing that i was oh yeah let's see yeah he, he'll have a, he had a lamp but he got really mad one day at his mom and dad, and his lamp hasn't been functioning the same ever since. <laughs> hmm. 
I'm trying to look for some of the other broken furniture. Yeah, it would be under tables. I know there's a broken Hulk table. Just to kind of document Kylo Ren's very volatile attitude where he's he's he has a very short temper. So here's here's a little nightstand or a little coffee table right here, but one day he just he was just too mad and he couldn't take it anymore. He just sliced it right up. All right, what was the last thing? I was thinking of one last touch here, but let's go ahead and take a look at our work. Now, Ray's going to need to get out of here quickly because if Kylo Ren finds out she was in his room, they're going to have to have another lightsaber duel. All right. So this is Kylo Ren's room. <laughs> Perfect. That's awesome. I think this is awesome. Let's go ahead and put his Darth Vader plush. There we go. Oh, you can't, you can't raise them. It's okay. Here's his Darth Vader plush. Let's see, we'll go ahead and set it to, we could do sleep, just so it's lying down so that it's kind of like he, he left it there next to his bed. All right. All right. <laughs> That's cute. Cool. All right, cool. So here is Kylo Ren's room. <laughs> Keep out or else. <laughs> All right. I like it. I'm happy with this. So let's go ahead and go back to our toys, Toy Story room. I was about to call it the Toys R Us room. Go back to our Toy Story room. And this is where we forgot to put Andy's toys chest, as well as some of the townspeople for Toy Story. So Buzz Lightyear and Woody. And Jesse, of course. We'll go ahead and put Buzz over here by the bed. Let's try to do this quickly. I'm always so scared that these these guys are just going to run away as I'm trying to make them work. We'll make him jump up. And then let's go ahead and place that chest that we saw. I think it was under accent and decor. Could be wrong though. There we go, yeah. I was right, for once. <laughs> and we can go ahead and put this over here because it's near the toy area. And we'll put Woody over here because in the movie, Woody is placed in the toy chest when Buzz is the new, the new kid on the block and Andy starts favoring Buzz over Woody. And him jumping up and down is fitting because it reminds me of the scene where he's yelling at Buzz. And he says, you are a toy. <laughs> and lastly, we'll put Jesse over here because what the Disney or the, the Toy Story trio is not complete without her. So we'll put her over here jumping up and down as well. All right, very nice. So I'm happy with the way it turned out. You know, we have our little characters here. They're excited to see us. And we have Kylo Ren's room. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Let's Build a Toy Box, developing our rising starly hotel. In the next episode, we are actually going to start working on the next floor. Now, the next floor is where things start getting a little bit spooky. So I hope you're enjoying the series and I'll see you next time. Please feel free to like and subscribe and check out some of our other videos in the playlist, which will be posted in the description. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.